Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. My name is Materia Master 10, and welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. So, oops, sorry about that. Um, last time we completed everything that we can do in the City of Tears, for now at least. We took on the Soul Master, and I gave different tips and tricks to on how to take him on, and we also tracked down the final spell we were missing, the Howling Wraiths, and found another charm, the Boulder Shell. So if you want to know how to get those, those, will, those are in the previous episode. So this time, we're going to figure out a way forward now that we have the desolate dive, which allows us to break cracked floors. After I fix something, because I'm what you call a big dumb sometimes. All right, all right, we're good. So we delve. So usually the way I get back to, oh wait, I can just wall jump. Oop, not if I'm bad. Uh, usually the way I get to where we need to go now is I just go from dirt mouth because I think it's probably just as fast as going any other way, but it's usually just what I do. Um, and we're gonna take on a new area today so that'll be fun it's not up here we already did that up there there's a grub up there normally we finally get to figure out what this cavern was for why well, she's not singing anymore <laughs> bury my body cover my shell what meaning in darkness yet here i remain i'll wait here forever till light blooms again Bury my body, cover, shell, darkness, no meaning, dangerous, still remain, light, again? Oh. And now she's just kind of stuck like oh. this. Something seems to have driven her mad. It's really sad, honestly. If you need sh uh, soul, there's some there. Because you will need your spell now. So, yep, here's that broken ground I showed you guys way back when. And now we can break it. Yep, Crystal Peak. This is such a cool area. I know I say that about a lot of the areas in this game, but um, it's because it's true. So here's one of those areas... It's dark, so it's hard to see. So, this is why you want the Lumafly lamp. Is that what it's called? Lumafly lantern. My bad. Now, heal up. It's our first time taking on those guys, but they're easy enough just. Avoid getting in their way. Oh, in their way. Let us see. Yep, and this is where this leads in the Forgotten Crossroads. That. Oh, I never opened that up. Go me. Well, now you know where that leads. I guess I forgot that that's closed off. My bad. <laughs> Try to be decent at remembering things, and then I just forget important things. So, you know. That's useful. As somebody who's trying to do walkthrough videos that top tier content, right? Ooh. This crystal has Geo in it. Woohoo! 
Oh, uh, no, okay. Kind of figured that'd be a bottomless pit. Gotta be honest. Awesome. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, for some reason, nobody wants to trade these crystals, so... Uh... It's not like a second type of... Uh, currency that you get to hold on to, unfortunately. Um, yeah, can't exactly walk across some of these very speedily, so just keep that in mind. Some of them will carry you off a lot. Oh, he's aggressive. What is the husk miner? So, drawn to the crystal peak for its precious crystals, its claws pick. Its claws... Claw pick. Ah, okay. Now it doubles as a whatever weapon too. Um, hmm. So they came here to mine out crystal. Wonder if they did it because they thought they could get rich or something. Well, whatever the reason, doesn't seem to have worked out too well for them. There's a nice bench for us. Yep, no map yet. So we just gotta look around for corner for see if we can find him. Um No, okay. I wasn't sure if there was something over there or not. Apparently not. Well let's heal. These platforms do rotate back after a short bit. Ah. Down, up, there we go. And another rancid egg for our collection that we still have yet to know what they're for. And back up here we go. Um, ah, another new enemy. These guys can be a real pain in the butt. Because wherever that crystal hits, it leaves more crystals, and they're a pain to have to dodge and everything. So, you just gotta be careful. Uh, you can deflect the crystals back, I believe? Or you can break them. Let's find out. Oh, okay. Yep, you can deflect them. Ow. Yeah, they're... They're not my favorite enemies to deal with, because they can just be a real pain sometimes, but that's how it is. Aw, I'm sorry, dude. I don't see how I can save you just yet. Uh, you can hit their pickaxes out of the way. I want to go back and make sure that I can't save that grub yet. Because otherwise I might forget about him for a bit. Oh. Alright. When you get stuck on a singular platform having to deal with those guys, my advice is just make sure that their crystals don't hit your platform. And if they do, you can always break the crystal by slashing down on it, and you should get a bounce off of it so you won't have to worry about it as much. Aw, oh, just short. That was a big fall. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Alright, well, we know his stance on stuff. Um... Oh, there's a stagway. This is not a stagway. Um... Okay. Huh. Just looks like a graveyard. It's kind of scary, honestly. 
Um, I feel kind of bad doing that. Oh, not these guys. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon the teacher in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian the watcher in his spire, looking over the city. Hera the beast in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. To their devotion, hollow nest, last eternal. Dreamer's locations added to the map. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to the sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by that captive light? When the seals break, they cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Guess we're stuck here. Wherever. Oh. Looks like a moth. terrible fate they visited upon you, to cast you away into this space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Taking the dream nail. Hold X to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. Ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they've... They reached out with that little power they still have with what little power they still have, and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the Dream Nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit that Sacred Blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me Essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it, and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work to work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect a hundred essence and return to me. I will teach you more. So that's the dream now. What if we... What are you doing poking about in a dusty old mind like mine? Nothing of worth is hidden inside. Believe me. But keep probing the world around you with your dream nail. Hidden things will reveal themselves. Interesting. Resting grounds. Dream nail. So this is what essence looks like. Looks like, apparently. And these trees seem to hold a lot of it. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to do that. In fact, I now know I wasn't supposed to do that. But this is very useful. Dream Shield. It's another charm. Um, 
It's one of my least favorites, honestly. It can be useful, but... Nah. Really. <laughs> it It's more like luck-based useful and not like true useful where you can fully use it to your advantage. At least I don't think so. Someone out there might disagree with me and they're entitled to that, but... I really don't think it's that great a charm. Aha. So if you look, this is shaky. But before we take care of that, I want to go up and see what changed. Because there was a little bit of shaking. And usually that means something changed. Ooh. Let's hit it again. Dead. Remember. Patient moth, or penitent moth, dreams revered. Go me, not being able to speak English. Woo! I swear it's my first and only language, but I'm not that great with it. Ah, here's a stagway. Stag station. Station of the stag. Rest. Doesn't even require a payment. Yeah, Cornifer was here, but... But for some reason, we couldn't get here before just now, I don't think so. I'm sure there's a way to, but I didn't venture it. Because I usually don't. I usually don't make it that way. I wonder what it's like if I do. So let's get our map of that area and then we'll go back down <sighs> resting grounds whispering root pin so that's what we just found what happens if we hit her with the dream nail i'm glad i put down my weapon this quiet life with corny makes me a lot happier it would be nice to stretch my legs again though sometimes soon of all the places to end up, we've picked this dreary town. I thought a temporary stop. I thought it a temporary stop. Then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is sound business. But other than you, who's buying? Well, you know. Who cares? He's doing what he loves. And it's not like you're going to get charged huge rent in this town. I mean, let's be honest. It seems like it's only four people in that town. <gasps> Alright. Let's rest again. And let's look at what the map is like. Oh, one of the dreamers is kind of nearby. So let's drop down and see what that one cavern kind of leads to. This one thing. Broken tomb? <laughs> These things terrify me. They do their job a little bit too well, in my opinion. Oh, gosh. Too dablage. Um. I mean, just look at them. And these are the sounds they make. This is horrifying. I remember the first time I came down here, I, I, I noped right back up. I... Um, did not want to come down here. It was terrifying. There are lots of broken walls in this area. Oh. And floors that will collapse out from underneath you. Let's heal up. If you're fast enough, you don't have to worry about the floors, but I was not. Otherwise, you can just dash right over them. Ow. They do two damage. 
I did not realize that. So not only do they sound terrifying, they do terrifying amounts of damage. Ooh. So dark. Oh, and if you look, when you're in a dark area where you're using the Lumafly lantern, our little knight holds it out in front of him while he walks. That's really adorable. Soul Eater. To say anything. Let me rest. Huh. So lots of things are interactable with the Dream Nail. And Soul Eater. Oh, I didn't talk about the other charm we just picked up either. That's my fault. Um, so first of all, let's talk uh, the Dream Shield. I think it's, yep, Dream Shield. Basically, it creates a little shield that, like, orbits around you, and it'll maybe block a hit. So, not a huge fan of it. Soul Eater is basically just an amped up version of Soul Catcher. You gain a lot more soul per hit versus a little bit more soul. Um, it has its uses. I'm not going to call it useless because it can definitely be useful, but uh, definitely not one that I use often, if ever. But it's another one of those because that's just how I do things type of thing. Not really like a, ah, uh, because it's unusable. Obviously, if you want to, like, cast more spells and everything, yeah, it's going to be useful. Oh, there's more. There are so many broken walls in this area. Man, I was really hoping I'd be able to avoid that. Okay. Let's avoid this one, because I know it's coming. Fool me. A hundred times shame on you. Fool me a hundred and one times shame on me. Trust me, you'll face bosses where it feels like that. <laughs> oh, hey. What's this way? <laughs> oh, man. Let's pass this guy. Oh, I'm almost dead. So let's heal. I'm gonna. Okay. What do we got over this way? What be this? Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. So if you look, this is right where we fell down. And over this way is the Forgotten Crossroads. There's a tram that leads that way. Uh, let's... There's more this way, but it's not on the map. So let's go back over here to that thing. The elevator. Oh, Lame. That was a cheap hit. Where does this bring us? Looks like the City of Tears. Huh. Brings us on the other side of where we've been. More new enemies. They're nothing really special. Um, they're just kind of the old inhabitants of this area. And they're pretty much just focused on getting soul or not soul geo so basically you can tell that they're just like lashing out at you so that you don't take their geo and that's really all the more complicated those guys get if you yeah, hit them with the dream nail stay back oh come on walk this way uh, this well, mine, all mine. What? Let's show off the spell a little bit. Haven't really shown off its combat capabilities. 
And that. Heal quick, just because I'm one hit away. Because I was playing it kind of careless, just to show off different stuff to you guys. And all that for a soul fragment. Or vessel fragment? Vessel fragment. So we've got two of three. So we're almost done with one of them. Um, but thankfully there's a few more in the game than just the one, because makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. Alright, so that's something I didn't think we'd encounter. Just by killing enemies, you can gather essence. But it's fairly rare. I don't recall the exact stats, but if I remember correctly, it's something like 1 in 200 enemies. And I think they have to be non-boss enemies, if I remember properly. So, it's very rare, it's not very common. Um, you do get a charm later in the game that makes it a little bit more common, but by twice as common. So, instead it's like 1 in 100. I might be wrong it might be one in a hundred to begin with and then it becomes one in 50 either way it's not exactly perfect um but it is something to be aware of that you can just come across it naturally um but definitely you're there's two ways two other ways to get uh essence and one is the tree the root tree thingies I forget the name of them already and the other is something we haven't seen yet which I will definitely be sure to show off here soon um, so all that time ago we found the queen station now we're finally at the king station I think with finding this area, I think it's a good time to uh, end the video. So if you liked the video, smash that like button. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out a lot. If you liked something I did or didn't like something I did, please leave a comment and tell me how I can improve. and. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's it. See you guys next time.